In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a fully audited NFT drop smart contract for open editions. As you can see on the left hand side of my screen here, we have our smart contract with the audit report available. You can feel free to read through all of this as you choose to. Then we're going to create on the right hand side here, a web application that connects to our smart contract and allows users to connect their wallets and mint NFTs from the drop. We're going to lazy mint our NFTs, which means to upload the metadata of our NFTs to the blockchain and then configure the claim conditions that allows users to to actually mint NFTs from our smart contract. So you can see here, we have the unlimited NFT supply for this NFT and only one NFT can be claimed per wallet. Of course, this is fully customizable and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in this video. Let's get started. Before we jump into the video, I wanna let you know that currently 70% of the amazing people like yourself that watch ThirdWeb's YouTube videos are still not subscribed to the channel. So before we begin, I'd love to ask you a favor. If you get any value out of these videos, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the ThirdWeb channel. The very first thing we want to do is we'll head to thirdweb.com and we'll click this nice big start building button here. What we wanna do first is go ahead and connect our wallet. I'm gonna be using my MetaMask wallet. You can feel free to connect whichever wallet you are most comfortable with. Once you have connected, you wanna go ahead and click this deploy new contract button here, which is gonna take you to the explore page. And here's where you'll find all of the smart contracts available that the third web team has built, as well as some of the most popular protocols in Web3. So you can see we have Unlock Protocol here, we have Double Dev, the rentable NFT smart contracts here. The one we're interested in is called the Edition Drop. And you can see here, this is able to release ERC-1155, which is an Edition NFT. Uh, under the conditions of uh, claim phases. So if we click into the addition drop smart contract here, you can see the addition drop contract is best used when you wanna release many NFTs based on the same asset. And the way that we release these NFTs is we upload the metadata, which is called lazy minting. So we'll upload the metadata such as the image, the name, the description of the NFTs to the blockchain. They won't actually be minted yet. And then we'll outline the conditions under which our users or our community can come in to the edition drop and start actually minting those NFTs. So to get started, we'll click this deploy now button here. And this is going to take us to set up the contract metadata for the smart contract here. So what we'll do is I'll keep it nice and simple. We'll add a name, we'll add a symbol. It's gonna call mine colored shape NFTs. And the symbol is the ticker of each of the tokens within that collection. So I'll just have a shape as a symbol of my NFT collection here. You can feel free to add an image or add a description. If you scroll down, you'll see this payout settings section here where you have the primary sales field as well as the royalties section here. There is a blog post on how we treat royalties with the new OpenSea changes. That blog will be linked in the description if you wanna read more about that. The moral of the story is that we do support uh, OpenSea creator earnings out of the box. So if you're worried about selling these NFTs and earning royalty fees on secondary sales, you don't need to worry about that. You can feel free to populate the wallet address that you want to receive the funds from primary sales and secondary sales. Most importantly, you want to select a blockchain that you want to actually deploy these smart contracts to. We recommend if you're not familiar with this process uh, already, jump into a test net here so that you're not spending any real funds and you can kind of get a feel for what's happening with the smart contract and then move over to a mainnet environment once you're comfortable. So from the test nets, you can feel free to pick whichever you're comfortable with. I'm just going to go ahead and pick Optimism Goeli as it has really nice speeds for us on the test net here. So I'll go ahead and switch network over to Optimism and click on deploy now. This is going to prompt us to approve a proxy deployment. So you can see here, deploy proxy by implementation. And that just means we're going to deploy this smart contract. And if you see this message here that says insufficient funds, you can go to a faucet, which depends on which network you're deploying to, but essentially you can get some free funds so you can play around and deploy the smart contracts and interact with the functions available on it for free on this testnet environment. So I'll go ahead and set myself up with some funds off screen, and then I'll meet you back when the contract is deployed. Sweet, so it looks like our smart contract has been deployed successfully. We'll give this a second to load up here. 
But the first thing we're going to do is, as we mentioned earlier, we want to lazy mint or upload the metadata for our NFTs so that we can kind of define that and set it on the blockchain. And then users will come in and actually mint the NFTs based on that metadata that we uploaded. So to do that, we can jump into the NFTs tab here. And you can see we have two buttons to upload the metadata for our NFTs. You see we have a batch upload, which will allow us to upload a CSV file or a JSON file containing the metadata of multiple NFTs. In this case, we're just going to keep it simple and we're going to upload a single NFT and we'll have multiple quantity for that NFT or unlimited quantity as we're setting up an open edition in this video. So what we'll do is we'll click the single upload button. Let's give our NFT a name. So I'm going to upload a colored shape here. Let's say purple circle. Purple circle will be the name of my NFT. You can add a description. So let's say a rounded <laughs> shape. And here you can add some properties that will show up on websites like OpenSea in the traits section. So if you want to add uh, some rarity aspects to your NFT collection, here would be the perfect place to do so. Just as an example, we'll just say uh, there's one side to a circle, which I think is correct. It looks like there's one rounded side on a circle here. And we'll go ahead and click the Lazy Mint NFT button. What this is going to do, again, is going to ask us to approve a transaction so that we can actually save this information to the blockchain. You can see the transaction that we're signing here is called Lazy Mint. We'll go ahead and confirm this transaction to update the information on our smart contract. And just while that's happening in the background, what we're going to do next is we're going to configure something called a claim phase on the NFT itself. So for each NFT in the addition drop smart contract, you can configure a claim phase, which outlines how people can mint NFTs from your drop, such as the price, the release date, uh, things like that, that we're going to configure. So as you can see, we're going to uh, be able to successfully mint our NFT. From this point, we can click on the NFT that we just minted and we'll go into this claim conditions tab here. And here's where you can see it says set claim conditions, control when the NFTs get dropped, how much they cost and more. So if we scroll down a little bit here, we can click on the add initial claim phase button. What this is going to do is create a uh, kind of placeholder claim phase for us and we can populate the information of how users are going to be able to mint this purple circle NFT that we've just lazy minted onto the smart contract. So we'll give our claim phase a name here. So we're gonna say, I don't know, let's just call it my claim phase. The first field that we get to populate here is when does the phase start? So when is the released date of your NFT essentially is what this field is. I'm just going to start it as a default value, which is the time it is now. So whenever I click this save button down here is when these NFTs are going to be available. The kind of most important part and the key aspect of this video is how many NFTs are you going to drop in this phase? We want to leave this as unlimited. And that gives us that open edition aspects to this smart contract that we've defined with saying here, hey, I'm not going to cap how many NFTs are available. I'm just going to use the maximum possible value, which is unlimited here to say, hey, this is how many NFTs are going to be available for users to mint. So there's never going to run out of supply, which gives us that uh, open edition aspects to the smart contract. Then you can say how much you want to charge. I'm just going to give mine away for free using Ethereum. You can feel free to use a custom currency or any of the defaults that we provide here if you choose to do so. You can also add an allow list with a couple of different overrides if you choose to do so. There'll be a link in the description to a blog post to learn more about the new features of our new and improved claim conditions here. There's another important field down the bottom here to say how many NFTs can be claimed per wallet. So typically with an open edition smart contract, you're not able to claim uh, you know, unlimited NFTs. You're able to claim one per wallet or maybe two or three or four or five per wallet with that unlimited supply. So what I'm gonna do is gonna say, hey, you can only claim one per wallet, but there will be unlimited supply in total. So there will never run out of supply, but we only want one per wallet. So person A will come into the drop, they'll claim their NFT, then they won't be able to claim again from that wallet. So now we've set up our claim phase. Let's go ahead and click save claim phases here. And then we'll go ahead and finally approve the transaction again from our MetaMask wallet. This time we're signing a multi-call transaction and we'll go ahead and confirm that one. 
Excellent. So as you can see, we get a success message here to say saved claim phases. And now our NFTs are ready to be minted by our community. So when it comes to actually having members of the community mint these NFTs, there are a couple of different options. I'm going to run you through two kind of no code solutions that you can use, and then I'll show you how you can actually build a fully customizable web application using our React SDK. The first one I want to show you is really simple. You can actually just share this link to members of your community and say, hey, you can either use the claim function from the Explorer here. What's more simple though is actually if you go to the NFTs tab, click on the NFT you want to claim and click in the claim tab. This will auto populate with their connected wallet address. They'll be able to specify the amounts they want to claim. Then just click this claim button that will prompt them to approve the transaction. And this will show the fee that they're going to pay if you did set a price for the NFTs. Since ours are free, we're just paying uh, the gas fee to actually mint the NFT here. So that's the most simple way. I'm just going to close that and not approve that transaction. The second way you can use is actually from the embed that we generate for you in this embed tab here. And that was just from me rejecting the transaction, so don't worry about that. You can head over to the embed tab here. And if you scroll down a little bit, I like to put mine on dark mode for the embed here, you'll be able to see a preview of a kind of simple minting page for the edition drop smart contract that you have here. You can see we have a preview of the NFT that we're selling, the nice purple circle, the title, the description, all of the metadata of the NFT is loaded. The user will be able to connect their wallet to that application, specify the quantity that they want. As you can see, we're restricted to one as that is what we defined inside of the claim conditions. They'll then be able to click this mint free button or mint whatever you defined in your claim conditions is dynamically loaded into this preview that we generate for you. And the link is available as an iframe here. If you want to, you can just copy and paste this IPFS URL here, open that up in the browser, and that is your web application available to you and shareable to members of your community so that they can go ahead and mint directly from your smart contract. The third and final way that I'm going to show you is how you can use our SDK, specifically our React SDK, to build out a full web application with Next.js and TypeScript using this template that I've created for you to allow users to connect their wallets, connect to your addition drop smart contract, and call the functions available on that smart contract to read the claim condition information. So you can display things like the price, the quantity available for the user to mint, as well as the actual metadata of the NFT that you're selling on the web page. You can see a preview here just before we get started. So you'll be able to see this loading information from the smart contract. When that information comes back, we'll be able to see the metadata of our smart contract here. That is the title of the smart contract. This is the metadata of the NFT that we're selling. You can see how many have been minted so far, select the quantity and we have a mint button. So the way that we're going to create an application like this is using the third web CLI. And what we'll do is we'll run NPX third web. And I like to add the at latest tag to grab the latest version of the CLI. And then what we can do is we'll say create app dash dash template. And this template is called the edition drop template. What this is going to do is pull down the code available from this GitHub repository and then copy it onto our computer, install all of the dependencies after we give our project a name. So let's just say my edition drop. And then this is going to pull all the source code. And as you can see here, it's using yarn or whatever package um, uh, installer like npm or pmpm library that you have available on your computer to install the dependencies and then we'll plug in our smart contract address that we can grab from the dashboard so that we can use our smart contract address in this uh, template repository that we have here. Once the installation is done, you'll just change directories into that folder and we'll open that up in our text editor here. The first step that we want to use is by modifying the pages slash underscore app dot TSX file here. And you'll notice on line eight, we define the active chain ID. And by default, this is set to the Polygon Mumbai test network. We deployed ours to the Goeli test network. So I'll go ahead and select Goeli. If you deployed it to any other chain, you can see all of the available networks that we have here. So I'll go ahead and set mine to Goeli. 
Then on the index.tsx page, we can see on line number 20 and 23 here that we have a smart contract address and a token ID. So we can grab our addition smart contract address from the dashboard. So underneath the description here, there is a button that allows you to copy the smart contract smart contract address, sorry, and we can paste that into this string here. Then you can feel free to change the token ID. I'm just gonna leave mine as zero. What that number re represents is this token ID column here. So the first NFT that you upload, it's going to be token ID zero, token ID one will be the second NFT that you upload and so on and so forth. So we'll use token ID zero and this smart contract address that we have here. What you can do then is open up a new terminal or just use the same terminal from uh, the installation step here to run the yarn dev or npm run dev if you don't have yarn installed. What this is going to do is start your development server which allows you to open up localhost 3000 to get a preview of your application. You can see we have this loading state. It's a little bit slow since we're on the Goelli testnet. Hopefully on a mainnet environment, that will be a lot faster. You can see we load in the information of our smart contract. So we have the name of the collection, the description of the NFT collection, the metadata of the NFT that we're selling. And you can see here we have a quantity field. Maybe I'll zoom in for you here. We have a quantity field that is kind of dynamically populated to say, hey, you can only click these buttons if you're allowed to mint more or allowed to mint less. So in our case, if you remember, we said, hey, you can only mint one per wallet. So that's why I can't click this more quantity button here. I can't click less as obviously <laughs> I can't mint less than one. So I'm going to lock in uh, one quantity here. I'm gonna click the mint button here. This, this button will allow users to connect their wallet. It will then make sure they're on the same network as your smart contract. And then as you can see here, it's going to bring up this prompt to mint the NFT. So if I go ahead and confirm this transaction here, we'll give it a couple of seconds to load. You can see we have a nice little UI here. As that transaction is going through, this button is disabled. We have this nice loading indicator. When the transaction goes through, we'll immediately see this number go up. As you can see, the infinity supply is available. So we can confirm that this is in fact an open edition. Zero out of infinity available have been minted so far. You can pull in any information that you want from the smart contract and that will be automatically displayed on the UI for you. So you can see this is just a simple success message that I've configured when the transaction does go through. You can go ahead and click OK and what we'll see is that number automatically updates, pulls the latest information from the smart contract. That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed the build. Go out there and build out your own fully audited open edition NFT drops. I'd love to see them in action. If you do have any questions, jump into the Discord. We can speak with myself as well as the rest of the Third Web team directly. We'll answer any questions that you have about the smart contract, about the web application, about anything in Web3. We're happy to have a chat with you. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Remember to like the video if you found any value. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.